Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem we are given that three forces act on the bracket and it is said that determine the magnitude and direction theta of this force F so that the resultant force is directed along the positive x dash axis and has a magnitude of 8 kN, right? So we are given the resultant magnitude and the dire direction of the resultant along this x dash axis, right? So now if I draw the resultant then the direct the direction of the resultant is in the x dash direction in the positive x dash direction right. So let's say that this is our resultant and its magnitude is equal to 8 kilo newton right. So now as we know that the our x component of the resultant I can write that our x component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of all the components along the x axis is, right. So let's say that this 6 kN force is let's say F1 and let's say that this 4 kN force is let's say F2, right. So then we can write that the summation of all components along x will be equal to F1x plus F2x and plus the components of this force which is acting along the x axis right so i will write that plus f of x right and similarly r y will be equal to the summation of all components along the y axis so we can write that this will be equal to f1 y plus f2 y plus f3 y right so apply to apply these two equation we have to find f1 x f2 x and f of x and similarly this f1 y plus f2 y this will be f of y right so we have to resolve these three forces into its components right so now as we can see that this f1 is acting in the positive x direction so i can write that f1 x is equal to f1 right since the whole f1 force is acting in the positive x direction so this is equal to 6 kilo newton and we can write that f1 y component of the f1 force is 0 right since it is acting in the x direction right so this is 0 kilonewton. Similarly, if I resolve this F2 force into its component, so it will have one component which will be acting in the positive y direction, right. So this will be the y component, we can write that this will be F2 y component, right. So let me write that F2 y. So as we can see that F2 is making 15 degrees with this y axis, so this means that F2 y is the cos component, right. So we can write that this is 4 cos of 15 degrees right and it is acting in the positive y direction. Similarly, this F2 will have one component which will be acting in the negative y direction like this and this will be F2x right. So, I can write that F2x will be equal to 4 sine of 15 degrees right. It is the sine component since it is opposite to this angle. So, this is 4 sine of 15 degrees and this is in kilonewtons and similarly this is also in kilonewtons right. Similarly if we resolve this uh, F force into its components right. So then it will have one component acting again in the positive y direction and this is the cos component again I can write that this will be this component will be the y component right? so we can this is F y and this is acting in the positive y direction so this will be F cos of theta since the angle is made with the y axis is right and similarly f of x this will be the f of x component right we can add this is f of x so this is the sine component right so we can add this is f sine of theta now according to this equation the summation of f1 x f2 x and f of x will be equal to r x right so f1 x is 6 kilonewton so i can write that this is 6 kilonewton plus f2x. So, as we can see that f2x is acting in the negative x direction. So, this is negative, right? So, I will write that this is minus. We can write that this is minus, right? This is acting in the negative x direction. So, we will write that this is minus 4 sine of 15 degrees, right? And similarly, f of x is acting in the positive y direction. So, we will write plus f sine of theta and this is equal to rx right. So now as we can see that the resultant is acting along this x dash so we can resolve this r into its components as well right. So this r will have one component in this direction like this and it will have one component in the positive y direction like this right. So this component is the rx and this is ry 
and as we can see that our x is the cost component so i can write that our x is equal to this 8 cos of 30 degrees right so here we can write that this whole equation is equal to 8 cos of 30 degrees right so we can write that f sine of theta is equal to 8 cos of 30 degrees minus 6 plus 4 sine of 15 degrees right so this is 8 cos of 30 minus 6 plus 4 sine of 15 degrees so this is 1.963 so f sine of theta is equal to 1.963 kilonewtons let's say that this is equation 1 and now if if i add all the y components right so if i add f of f1 y f2 y plus f of y so that will be equal to r y right so f1 y so this is f1 y which is 0 so we can write that 0 plus f2 y right so f2 y is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus and this is 4 cos of 15 degrees and similarly f of y is also acting in the positive y direction so we will write that this is plus 4 cos of theta and this is equal to r y and r y is the sine component right so we can write that r y is 8 sine of 30 degrees right this is not 4 this is uh, f cos of theta right this is uh, f of y right this is f1 y this is f2 and this is f of y right so this is f cos of theta right so f cos of theta will be equal to 8 sine of 30 degrees minus 4 cos of 15 degrees and we can simplify this so 8 sine of 30 minus 4 cos of 15 degrees this is 0 0.136 right so f cos of theta equals to 0 0.136 and let's say this is equation 2 so now if i divide equation 1 by 2 right so if we divide equation 1 by 2 so then we can write that this is f sine of theta divided by f cos of theta this is equal to 1.963 divided by 0 0.136 so f will cancel out and sine of theta divided by cos of theta is tan theta so we can write that tan theta is equal to this ratio 1.963 divided by 0 0.136 or we can say that theta equals to tan inverse of this ratio right so this will give us the angle of that f force with the y axis is right one point nine six three divided by zero point one three six this is eighty six degrees right so theta is approximately eighty six degrees and similarly we can use either equation one or two to find the f force magnitude right so if i use equation one so according to equation one f will be equal to one point nine six three divided by sine of theta right according to this equation so sine of theta so theta is now known which is 86 degrees so then f magnitude will be 1.963 divided by sine of 86 degrees so this is 1.967 right so we can write that this is approximately 1.97 kilo newtons right so in order to have the resultant acting in the positive x days direction this force f magnitude is how much this is 1.97 kilonewton and this theta is 86 degrees right so this is the solution of this particular problem